Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with a quick review of the Runhood Siri 100 portable solar panel. This product can turn ordinary sunlight into energy that you can use to recharge your portable power station or really any electronics you've brought along on your next camping trip. Now, where would you use a product like this? Well, let's say, for example, you have a portable power station like the Runhood model I have here, and you've charged it at home, or maybe you've charged it in your car on the way to the campsite. And you're out camping for a couple of days, you've been running lights on it, you've charged tablets and phones and cameras and drone batteries, and all of a sudden, you're down to 20% capacity, and you have no way to recharge the unit because you're miles away from an AC outlet. Well, that's exactly where a product like this comes in because you can set this up outside your tent, point it at the sun, drink in that beautiful sunlight, turn that into electrons that you can use to recharge the battery inside. And there's a lot of different portable solar panels on the market, and there are big differences between them, and I think Runhood has done a great job with this particular model, and they've given you everything you need in a portable solar panel. So let's start with the basic specifications. It weighs about 13 pounds, which is pretty light. It's also small. It's only 14 and a half by 14 and a half, which means it's small enough to literally slide under your seat in the car. You'll almost forget you have it with you. Other portable solar panels are much bigger, and you fold them up, and they're still gigantic, and it's hard to hide them in your car. With this one, you've got six panels, that again that are 14 by 14 it gives you plenty of power and it's really transportable the other thing that's important about this unit is that it's ip65 rated because if you're out at a campsite you're going to get rain you'll probably get snow you can leave this outside your tent and it's going to work just fine a lot of other solar panels have connectors on the back where you plug things into and those connections are going to corrode over time they're going to get gunked up so with this one everything is inside this little pouch and the unit's completely waterproof the big difference between this one and a lot of other solar panels is the fact that it's using monocrystalline panels. Now, monocrystalline is the absolute best solar panel on the market, and the reason that's the best is because the efficiency is really high. Typically, mono panels are somewhere between 15 and 25% efficiency. This one is 23% efficient, which means you're going to drink in more sunlight and convert that to energy. You're not going to waste that sunlight. Other panels on the market use polycrystalline cells, and those polycrystalline cells are really chips of silicon that they've glued together in a platter and they've wired them together to produce electricity. And it kind of works, but it's not really efficient. So you'll see those at somewhere between six and 15%, which is not a lot of energy. You're wasting a lot of sunlight. So you've got mono panels in here. It's IP65 rated. It produces 18 volts of energy at five amps. So you can use it with the run hood system or really anybody's portable power station to recharge those internal batteries. Now, let me show you how it works. It's a pretty straightforward product. For starters, on the back, you have this really nice nylon pouch. Underneath that, or inside of that I should say, is a standard MC4 connector that you can use again with a mating connector for anybody's portable power station. And it's wired directly into the panels. I like that a lot. There's no connectors to break or lose or any of that stuff. So let me close that up real quick. Each of the panels has its own foot for standing it up. That's a challenge with a lot of other portable solar panels is that they may have a five panel setup and only two feet. And you're gonna find those middle panels, especially in the wind, are gonna sag and move around and you're gonna waste a lot of that energy. The other thing I like about this is that the six panel setup is about six feet long and it's an accordion. When I fold it out, I'll show you what that looks like. But the reason I like that is because I can contour it if I need to, to catch that sun as it moves through the sky to get the most energy into the panels. A lot of others are very stiff. You've gotta set them up and they're just pointing directly in one section, which means you gotta move them, you gotta move them, you gotta move them. With this one, you can curve it either parabolically like this or reverse parabolic like that to catch that sun as it moves through the sky. So you can set it up once and forget about it. All right, so we wanna open this up. You'll pop these two buckles on the front. This pops open. You wanna make sure you set it up with the feet down. So the feet come down this way. I'll start at the end down here and we'll kinda of put this out. So basically, you've got six panels that are all accordion. I'll start down here by the unit. Let me open up that bag first. There's my cable with the MC4, and I'll set up the first foot, and I'll set up the second foot. And you can pull those all the way out to get the most exposure to the sun. And again, it's a little bit time consuming the first time you set it up with the six feet, but I love the fact that, like I'd mentioned, that's pretty straight right there, the way I've set it up. But if I wanted to, I could parabolically curve it like this to catch that sun as it moves through the sky this direction, which gives me a lot of uh, flexibility. All right, so the other end, I've got this MC4 connector right here, and I've got a mating connector here. So all you'll do before you actually plug it into the power station is mate these two. These are weatherproof connections, standard MC4. On the other end of the cable for the run hood is a barrel connection, which plugs right into the unit. So let me turn it on and I'll plug that into the DC input. Now I'm gonna give it a second to drink in a little bit of sunlight. Right now I've got, it's probably not the best position because I've got a gigantic tree right in front of me. If I were doing this for real at a campsite, 
I'd be back there where I had plenty of sunlight. It's a little bit high grass back there, so it's a little tricky. But anyway, it's going to give me a good amount of energy. So let's take a look. Make sure you flap this back. You want to get all the energy you can. Let's take a look and see what kind of energy it's generating. So right now with that limited sunlight, 72 watts. Now, I think that's astounding when you think about it. You've got a solar panel that's drinking in sunlight. It's turning that energy into electrons that it's firing through that cable into the batteries. And for free, I'm recharging my batteries with nothing more than sunlight. This is absolutely amazing. Now, it's not 100 watts. I'm sure I could get closer to 100 watts. In reality, I've been testing it for a couple of weeks. The highest I've ever seen is about 90%, or 90 watts, I should say. So it, it, 100 watts is a theoretical limit of what it can do under perfect conditions. But again, I care about field conditions. And for me, somewhere between 70 and 90% is perfect. I'm about 20% of the batteries in there right now as far as depletion goes, only 20% left. With this solar panel, I'm thinking four or five hours, I've got a fully charged portable power station. And if I'm camping, I'm setting this up outside my tent and I'm forgetting about it. I'm going off, having fun with the kids, doing a little fishing, throwing the Frisbees around. When I come back, I got a fully charged portable power station. So I think it's a wonderful product. Again, the benefits of it, it's small, it's portable, it's lightweight. It's using mono panels, which are the best you can get. 23% efficiency, uh, 18 volts, 5.5 amps, which is perfect for all of the portable power stations on the market. IP65 water rating. So you got everything you want in the unit, and I just like it an awful lot. So thanks an awful lot for watching. I hope you found this helpful. I love talking about this kind of technology, and hopefully you're enjoying it as well. So thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, as always, stay nerdy. Mm -hmm.